Hi everyone, this is Devit Chain, studying in Senate 10th. And today, I am going to speak about a day in my school life in which everything went wrong. A day at school is normally like any other day. But there is a day that one would like to forget, for nothing good happens that day. Even now, recalling it gives me nightmares. Last year in the midst of the half weekly examination, I got up late in the morning. My head felt dizzy because of sleeping late the previous night, preparing for the English examination. Looking at the alarm clock left me peeled. I had just 10 minutes to board the school bus. I scrambled from bed, completed my daily course in a jiffy. I had barely put on my trousers when the horn of the school bus sounded. Clutching my bag, I hounded out of the tidy, but to my dismay, the bus was nowhere in the sight. Rushing back, I entreated my father to drop me to the school in his car. He grudgingly agreed after giving me a pep talk on being careless. I reached school 20 minutes late and was immediately ticked off by the monitor who asked me to stay back after school as punishment. I took this in my stride, causing my ill stars for the humiliation on reaching the classroom. I took my seat and settled down for the test. The question paper left me dumbstruck. Was I hallucinating? I pinched myself to see if I was in my senses. Yes, I was. I glanced at my wristwatch. It was indeed the 1st of September, but the test later was not English but maths. The earth seemed to slip under my feet as I tried to come to terms with this catastrophe. Maths itself was by Achille seal, but to give a test without preparation was indeed a nightmare. I however gathered my wits and began to attempt the questions with trembling hands. After two hours, the ordeal was finally over. I had vision of a sound vacuum that was in store for me. I was morose throughout the lunch recess. My friend Elvin was laughed at my foolishness, but later comforted me allaying my fears. To add soul to injury, I was made to stand outside the class for not breaking the science textbook. I heaved a sigh of relief on hearing the toll of the school bell, but alas, I had to stay back for detention, which meant catching a public bus to reach home. The journey in the bus was another shattering experience. I was packed to capacity and I could barely stand on my feet throughout the journey. A year has passed, but I still have nightmare of that day. When everything went wrong at school, Recalling it sends a shiver down my spine. Thank you.